Hi, Sarah here, and today I'm going to give you an overview of the tracts and how they fit in the spinal cord. Because it can seem like quite complicated anatomy, but I thought I'd throw in a few different colours and try and make it a little bit more memorable. So here I'm just drawing a section of generic spinal cord, um, and this butterfly-shaped bit in the middle is the grey matter. Just quickly shade that in. And the grey matter is mostly made up of cell bodies. So if we remember the structure of a neuron, we've got the cell bodies and the axons. And all around the grey matter, we've got the white matter. And that's where the axons are. And up the, this top part here, this is the dorsal side of the spinal cord, which is the back. And this big um, stripe down here is the dorsal median sulcus. And on the other side, anteriorly, or ventrally, we have got the ventral median fissure. So just labelling a few key structures here to start with. And to talk about the first couple of tracks that I want to mention, these are the cuneate and the gracilis. And these are part of the dorsal columns, which um, transmit information regarding fine touch and proprioception. Now what I've labelled on here is the lateral corticospinal tract and we have another one at the front which is the ventral corticospinal tract. And these transmit motor information from the um, motor cortex in the cerebrum to the muscles. And drawing on here now are the spinothalamic tracts. We've got the anterior spinothalamic tract which is closer to the front and the lateral spinothalamic tract which is um, lateral. <laughs> so these transmit information, the lateral tracts transmit information regarding pain and temperature and the anterior tract um, transmits information regarding crude touch. Now what I'm drawing up here is Lissur's fasciculus. I've labelled it fissure but it's actually fasciculus, that's a mistake, sorry about that. And here in the middle we've got the spinal canal and the spinal canal contains CSF. So I thought I'd just give a really quick diagram again, but this time showing the way that the spinal nerve enters the spinal cord and how it splits, just from a very crude perspective. So we've got the spinal nerve travelling into the spinal cord and splitting into the dorsal root and the ventral root. And this bulge on the dorsal root is the dorsal root ganglion. And here we have the dorsal horn of the grey matter, and here's the ventral horn. Okay, so that is an, a very quick overview of the different tracts in the spinal cord. And in another video, I will talk about what happens in these tracts. Oh, I forgot to label the anterior white commissure. And this will become important when I talk about the tracts, because this is where some of them desiccate. Okay, well, I hope that was useful. It was a very quick overview. Um, if you'd like to see more of what I do, please head to my website, sarahcliffordillustration.com, and check out Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Thank you.